Welcome to the 8816 Hyper Growth Training Protocol. I'm Vince Del Monte, skinny guy expert, as well as a WBFF Pro Fitness model. I'm Scott Tuzana, Metablock Masterpiece. I'm an elite natural bodybuilder with the UF. So Scott's one of my good friends. We've known each other for quite a few years now, and he's from Windsor, and, and I'm here in Hamilton. So we've linked up today to bring you perhaps one of the most effective training protocols I guarantee you haven't tried. We're gonna be introducing to you guys a very unique way of doing giant sets with different exercises. The way this program is designed is it's a three-day program primarily for guys who have at least one year of training experience. So if you haven't been training consistently for a year, I would advise you to try another program or wait until you train for a year because this is a lot of volume. Even though we're gonna be starting you off on only two sets per week and then going to three sets and then four sets and then on week four we'll come back down to two but increase the loads. Two sets, the way this is structured, is gonna be a very intense experience. Have you done giant sets yourself? I've done giant sets and yeah, in tears by the end, especially by the third exercise spent and uh, yeah, doing the thought of the second set right, is killer. It's, uh, it's absolutely brutal. So what's this workout going to do for you? It's going to help you one, build muscle. Why is it going to help you build muscle? One, we're working with specific rep ranges that cater to the type 2B, type 2A, and the type 1 muscle fibers. All the muscle fibers that are required for muscle growth. So by doing 8 reps first and then 8 reps second, those are hypertrophy rep ranges. Those are going to allow you to use a decent amount of weight, but also with a sufficient amount of tension. And then for the third exercise, we're going to do an endurance rep range, 16 reps. And this is really going to gas you and tap fibers that you probably haven't utilized before. And this is how you're going to build bigger muscles. Absolutely. But I really like how you're paying attention to the details by hitting the muscles from all angles. As a, as a physique artist myself and a natural bodybuilder, details is very, very important. Right. Make sure that I'm hitting each head of the muscle maximize your benefit. I'm glad you mentioned that because what most people do when they do giant sets is they make a huge mistake. They hear this, oh, three exercises? Okay, I'll just take three random exercises. And the reason you don't do that is because every exercise emphasizes a different part of the strength curve. The strength curve basically means that your ability, it's, it's basically your ability to apply force at different parts of the movement. So you all know you're stronger in certain parts of a movement on some exercises and weaker at some points of a movement on other exercises. So what we're doing is we're going to be pres prescribing exercises that work the mid-range, the end-range, and the low range of each movement. So we're not randomly picking three exercises. Does that make sense? Absolutely, absolutely. Very strategic in design. So what about the split here? There's a lot of people who are probably doing body part splits okay. and, and here you've got it's a three-day plan. Why did you pair up the, the body parts that you did for each of these? Okay, so big mistake I see a lot of guys making is they'll do back and biceps together. Not necessarily wrong, however, on a day like this with so much volume on the back, when the when by the time you get to the biceps, they'll be so fried, you'll you won't be able to use sufficient loads for the eight eight rep ranges. So what we're doing is we're taking non-competing body parts. So day one is chest and biceps. So chest, nothing affects the biceps. So by the time you get to the biceps, they'll be fresh. Then we do hips and quads on day two. We're gonna be doing hips first, primarily because most people are already quad dominant and have a flat ass. So we're gonna help you guys develop some nice glutes. And then finally on day three, we're gonna be doing back and triceps. Again, two non-competing body parts. So by the time you get to those triceps, which most of you guys are lagging in, you'll be fresh and you'll be able to put a lot of effort into it. So that's why we're not pairing up back biceps. I mean, at the end of the day, there's pros and cons to every rep range, but that's why I've done it for this program. All right, so we got our split down. What about rest periods? Uh, what's the, what about the tempo that we're lifting at? Great question. So rest periods, two to three minutes in between giant sets. Two minutes will be written on the program. If you need to take three minutes, that's fine. Even though this is a hypertrophy-based program, this is a lot of volume. So taking 60 seconds rest, you're just going to be gassed. You're going to be using loads that are too, too light. So two minutes rest between sets. Uh, between exercises, you're just going bang, bang, bang from one exercise. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, two minutes rest, repeat. So weight selection is going to be a bit of a challenge when you're approaching the second exercise and the third exercise. Good call. You're going to have to reduce it a little bit. To... Here, That's a great question. So here's how I do it. I always do a rehearsal set, so one warm-up set, 
And the first week you're gonna probably get you know close to eight reps for your first exercise, you'll probably get around eight reps for your second exercise. On the third exercise, you might not get 16 because you just haven't worked in that hurt box so before. So stay with that weight for week two until you can achieve all 16 week, uh, all 16 reps. So the way you select your loads is very simple, guys. You select your loads based on two things: the reps, the reps prescribed and the tempo prescribed. So if you can't hit the reps or you can't maintain the tempo, you reduce the load. If that requires you to change the weight from set to set, so be it. But you have to hit eight reps, you have to hit eight reps, you have to hit 16 reps. Following the tempo prescribed, it's as simple as that. I like the sounds of that. How about mindset behind that? This is all about teaching you guys how to sprint. And what I mean by that is a lot of people will want to sprint 400 meters before they can sprint 100 meters fast. So if you want to sprint 60 seconds around the track, you have to be able to do each 100 meters in 15 seconds. If you can't do 15 seconds for the first 100 meters, why would you try and do it for 400 meters? So what we're doing with this program is we're going to get you very efficient at going hard for two sets. That's it. You have no business doing three sets if you can't go hard for two sets. And then next week we'll go to three sets. And then week three we go to four sets. And then instead of keep piling on the volume, which often turns into just junk sets, we'll go back to two sets, but we'll increase the loads. I really like that way of uh, a style of progression and periodization. I think uh, it's worked wonders for me in the past based on some of the prescriptions that you've had for me. So I'm very excited about that. And I love the sprinting analogy too, because giant sets, and especially when we say the 100 meters in 60 seconds, I'm a 400 meter runner. The lack of gas buildup right. is ridiculous. So it's crazy. <laughs> I think the giant sets we're going to be experiencing that kind of intense yeah. lack of gas and pain. So, so you, you guys are going to get the benefit of losing fat as well because of the lack of gas, which in turn helps increase growth hormones. So you guys are going to build muscle, you're going to lose fat, you're going to challenge your mental capacity. All right, so Vince, we've talked about the program three days per week, progressing each right. week multiple ways. How about the optimal way of tracking our progress to uh, to make sure that we're we're moving along? Well, I'm a huge believer in having everything written out. So you know, I just give you guys a sample of my current program. Everything's written out. So when I go to the gym, guys, every workout, all my reps, all my sets are detailed. Here's my interval training protocol. Here's my nutrition for the week. Um, here's my diet. I've got a I've got a diet plan for my um, training days and for my workout days. Uh, it's all printed out here. So what we've done is we've taken this entire program for you guys and we've actually laid it out for you guys. So we want to give you that. It's free. You just got to drop your first name and email address in to the form below. There's a link in the description box just so we know where to send it to. And uh, we'll give you guys printable workout sheets. And on top of that, what we'll also do is we'll give you guys uh, the diet plan that goes with this workout. That's fantastic because we want to optimize the results not only in the weight room, tracking. I mean, I hardly see anybody in the gym carrying around a journal, tracking their progress. The guys who do have the best physiques in the gym are the ones that are tracking and then having a nutrition plan to complement. Right. You can't just follow random nutrition, random supplementation. Um, you want to really feed off of the workout and maximize the nutrients that you're putting in your body. Yeah, so basically what we've done is we've taken this entire workout, we've added the supplement component and the diet component and we've just made it a, we've made a free report and it's free for you guys just uh, put your email in so we know where to send it and then you guys will have access to this entire program you can print it off the diet the supplement guide and the uh, printable workout sheets and you guys will have everything you need to make this a killer next four weeks to build muscle to lose fat so i think that's it let's wrap it up and get to the gym all right guys the chitter chatter is over now it's time to get to work <laughs>